Hello, everybody here. Uh, I'm not. I'm not from Park, Ent Park Extension, but I feel like I am. Does that make sense? I'm from Villaray, and I feel that uh, my husband and I both work. Uh, my husband and I both work. Uh, we don't have. He has a higher paying job than I do. But we've been struggling, and we don't have children. We have a Chihuahua dog. That wasn't supposed to be a laugh there. But, okay, no. Um, so, how, if my husband and I cannot, are having struggled to pay our hydro bill, I mean, let's get serious. Okay? The people in Park X, imagine what they're going through. I can't even imagine. One thing I'd like to add to the Honorable Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, if he's listening, I'd like to say he said last month that he's a feminist. There was a video that he admitted he's a feminist, okay? What does that mean? Equal rights to women. Who is suffering in Park X? Tell me. Women! And men, and men, and men, yes, they're in there, the families includes women and children, okay? There is a Canadian poverty which has not been addressed by the Prime Minister or anybody, okay? Even even the NDP, okay, I'm an NDP here, but even the NDP, all right? So let's let the Prime Minister hear uh, what's really going on. All right, let's make Thank some noise. Now, our two representatives going to the authority and giving our demands to the and resolution of the people they are giving to the authority and now we are waiting for our uh, representatives coming to that they will very soon they are coming and that is why we will have to wait and, and we are always telling our government last <coughs> in the last year we have shown our demonstration before the MNA uh, Jerry Slavonasco Jerry Slavonasco and not yet even in the Parliament or Quebec Parliament, he doesn't and he did not participate about this our demand and dialogue of the electricity bill. That is why. reducing our hydro equipment bill because we are the people here, we are middle class and poor class people of this Canada and Quebec and of this Montreal and we are from park extension and other parts of the Montreal we are coming here, we are demanding to how to get our bill reduced from the hydro equipment. And now I am just we are showing our demonstration before the authority today and with the people we are demanding if you do not reduce our bills or hydro Quebec bill, we will go and we will take more action against this Hydro Quebec. And to you the people, I am giving you thanks. Now, my another participant, he will tell something yeah. to you. Ooh, bravo! <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. 
Hi, I'm one of the seniors from uh, Park Extension, and I believe that we should have uh, money for more than just the hydro. We need money for all the poverty and all the people that are coming, uh, refugees and all that. We need to put our money elsewhere. Thank you very much. We, ho we hope we get help soon. Where should the money go? Schools, hospitals? Yeah, for the schools and uh, hospitals and everything we need uh, help with. Yeah. Okay? Sounds good. Thank you very much. Woo! 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 Hello everybody. Hello everybody. I am also a citizen of Park X and I have been living there almost 15 years. And I have the same problem like the other colleague over here. Hydro well is, is very important plus the low income housing also very important for Park X citizens. And I want the government to do something to, to equally, equally give rights to the people to have their low income housing which is uh, sponsored by city of Montreal. I have been applied for this apartment for last four years and I am still waiting. And I want that uh, it's not only for me, for all of us that the government should be very fear, fearful with the other people who cannot afford the high price apartments. We are, I am paying $550 apartment, no electricity, no heating, no, hot, no hot water included. I have to pay by myself and I am not earning any money. I am unemployed, now I am getting only Quebec pension and I want, I want to the Minister of uh, Hydro Quebec to look at us as his own people in their assembly or in their department. Those people who are minister they have a lot of money, okay? But what about us? We don't have even enough money to buy the food sometimes. We cannot enjoy our life. Yeah, they're back! Yeah. Welcome back! Welcome back! How oh, wonderful! Hey, hey! Alors, euh, bonjour tout le monde, il y a une, euh, Madame Grenier du bureau de Monsieur Arcan qui a accepté de nous rencontrer. Alors j'étais avec Monsieur Beg et Sonia qui, est, je, qui était euh, là. Euh, donc, euh, qui est là, voilà. Euh, et puis on lui a exprimé les différents, nos différentes revendications que le quartier Parc Extension est un quartier où il y a 43% de pauvreté dont la moitié euh, sont des enfants, que les gens n'arrivent plus à payer. Hydro-Québec fait des milliards de profits et qu'on veut que ça change. Euh, alors, euh, ça a été euh, exprimé par euh, M. Beck et Sonia. Euh, apparemment qu'on aura une réponse du ministre Arcan euh, lundi. Elle nous a reçus à l'extérieur de son bureau, donc on était dans le corridor, debout. Euh, C'était un peu spécial. <rire> Donc, euh, je ne sais pas si M. Bell, vous voulez faire un petit rapport en anglais de, de notre rencontre. Euh, voilà. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah.
Congratulations! Today we are here for good cause. We have been in Honorable Minister's office and uh, we are unable to see the Honorable Minister's office but we saw his talk and we record your protest, your message effectively. Isabel did a great job and Madame with me, she did a great job and whatever we have to say we have to save our area from poverty and the minister representative she said that she is agree with us she respect us yeah. and she like to take action and in coming meeting with minister she will put everything in front of honorable minister how we are feeling i i, I inform the office that we have 43 percent registered poverty and uh, wait, wait. and we have 43 percent registered poverty in our area and it is even more it can be like a 70 percent and uh, and i tell them we have a liberal government over there we have a right honorable prime minister in our riding and the our area is supposed to be considered a affected area affected by poverty and we don't want to listen when we go another riding and we introduce ourselves we are from park x and people said oh you are from poor area <laughs> no we are canadian we are in advanced country we are we came in this country for progress not for yeah. poverty yeah. Yeah. and let me tell you we tell the government put your attention in this area because what you need, you have to cure that part of body that is injured. So we are like injured part of Canada. Yes. So please make sure we did our job and I am proud of you, Madam Isabel. Yes. I am proud of you. You are our leader. We are proud of you. We are proud of Madam Sara. We are proud of Madam Monique. We are proud of every citizen who came here and you participate in this demonstration. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. And my beautiful Canada stay rich, no poor. Thank you. Okay, you may come to the hall. Uh, Vocal Pass, one last message before we go. Make sure you have your sandwich. Well, we have a report back from Sonia. Sonia qui va nous dire un peu ce qui s'est passé, peut-être en français et en espagnol. No, en français. Now, who is the people? La madame qui est okay. la madame qui était avec nous, mais on nous dit qu'il va parler à Monsieur Arcade pour dire qu'est-ce qui se passe en par extension. Et il nous donne un, un petit espoir, non? Mais on va on va voir que qu'est-ce qui va passer après de et qu'on voyait son son époque. Nous 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 nous, so, nous, nous parlons là. Okay, merci. Merci à vous. Merci à Sonia. Thank you to everybody who went up to talk. Thank you to everybody who came out. Uh, make sure you have a sandwich. Make sure you have a ticket to get back to Park X. Uh, we're going to finish up here, finish our sandwiches, take our signs with us, and make our way in the metro. We can all go together if we want and celebrate a very successful protest. Thank you to all of you, the organizers, the okay. everybody who came out.